Hi, friends. I'm so excited to hang out with you today and really get into today's show, which is I want to share the five questions that I ask myself every single morning. And I've asked myself a version of these questions for years now. Um, And what I want to help you do by the end of this episode is get to your three to five questions that you really feel like are important for you to check in on every single day. And I say every single day, but I'm going to be honest with you. It ends up being like four out of the seven days a week, right? Um, But the goal is to go for every day. And then you'll find that almost every day you're able to check in like this. Welcome to the Heart Centered Entrepreneur Podcast. I want you to be rich. Yes, I want abundant financial success for your business. But I don't just care about your business making money. I care about you too. I want you to be rich in happiness, in the impact you make, in your relationships, and in how you give back. I'm Anna. I built my six-figure business as a side hustle while I was pregnant with my daughter in 2016. Now I've helped dozens of women do the same. I'm here to help you build a profitable, heart-centered, fully booked business with the latest tips on sales and visibility, with proven mindset hacks, and sneak peeks behind the scenes with what's working right now in the online space and in my business. Ready to make more money with heart? Let's go. So I'm going to share the five questions with you, but I also want to share how you can help your clients do check-ins like this and why I feel like this check, taking a minute to check in with ourselves in this intentional way on repeat is really the key to be able to have long-term success. I feel like in, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner. So let me share my five questions with you. And then I'm going to share three ways that I help my clients tune in and ask questions. And if you are a coach or if you are a business owner and you do consulting or you'll walk people through it, basically, you know, (laughs) you already heard the the podcast episode where I ran on. Basically, if you're a business owner, you're going to use coaching skills if you want to help your team members and your clients and your students perform well, right? Um, And so this is an expansion on this. One way you can do that, one way you can lead them through doing that mindset work that I feel like makes such a big difference. Um, So let me share my five questions with you. First, I ask myself, what am I grateful for? (laughs) I ask myself, what am I celebrating? What are some wins I want to celebrate? I ask myself, what are my priorities? What do I want to pour out? (laughs) And by the way, I have a little emoji next to each of these two. And the pour out one is like this little ocean, you know, like the ocean wave emoji. I'll explain them in a minute. Um, And then last, I have, what am I affirming? And I also pop like prayers in here too. I find that these five things really help me focus every morning. And sometimes I just take one, one or two minutes to just jot all these down really quick. Other times, if I'm really needing to check in, I'll spend five, 10, 15 minutes in, in doing this. Um, but at least it gives me the opportunity to check in. Do you ever find that like, you know, you feel like you're doing fine. And then all of a sudden you're on the phone with a friend and they're like, no, how are you really doing? And then you like burst in the tears, right? Or you're like in office, in the office with your therapist and they're like, how are you doing? And you start crying crying and you're like, I didn't even know I was doing bad, right? It just, we forget to check in with ourselves. And so when you have a daily check-in, it's like (laughs) having the automated way to check in with yourself and ask yourself, you know, what do I need to most focus on? Um, Okay, let me go in order and just unpack all of these a little bit. Um, But as you are hearing me talk through these, I would love for you to grab a pen and a paper and start to jot down what these are for you, right? Maybe it'll be these exact ones. Maybe it'll be a little bit different. And just honestly, I've just shifted these over time as I feel the need to... um, like do some things more than others. Okay. So the first is just gratitude. The reason I start off with this is because if I'm having a hard day, it's just the easiest way to start. Like, what am I grateful for? (laughs) Right. And you guys know the power of gratitude and how that really can reframe our mind instead of looking at where we're falling short or what we don't have literally looking at what am I grateful for? And so often I just write really simple things. Like I'm so grateful that my children are healthy, (laughs) right? I am so grateful to have, um, an office space. I'm so grateful to have clean drinking water, right? Really starting from that simple place. 
Then I moved to the wins, which is really looking at specifically for my life and business. What are things I'm rocking at? And this is especially important when you're having a season where you're feeling discouraged, right? Or you're feeling like (laughs) the whole world sucks right now, right? It's especially important to really look at, no, where am I rocking it, right? What am I proud of? What am I accomplishing? And how can I put a stake in the ground and celebrate that? Um, I feel like for me, when I started intentionally like owning my wins and celebrating in my business, it really shifted something because I think so often we tell ourselves like, I don't want to, you know, we sign a client and then we feel like, oh, but I didn't sign five clients. Right. Or a lot of times it can feel like it's never enough. And so when we flip that script and when we say, I'm going to celebrate the tiniest things, you'll find that you're winning, going to be winning more and faster. Okay, next, what are my priorities? Basically just saying of all the things I could do on my to-do list, what do I most need to focus on today? What's popping up for me? And I do this for my business, but my personal life too, right? Really being able to see, say, okay, of all the things, like what do I actually need to focus on that's gonna move the needle forward? I don't know if you're like me, but often I just have one or two hours to work. And so this question really helps me focus and I try to knock those things out first. Okay, next is pour it out. (laughs) And this is just basically the journaling section. Right. I don't find that I'm a very good journaler in some ways because I feel like I need a prompt. But in some ways, this kind of is journaling. And often for my clients, I ask myself the same question by just saying, what's stressing you out? Right. So if you feel like, oh, I'm not really a journaler, nothing's on my mind. Just try answering that question. (laughs) Just give that a gander. Okay. (laughs) Really ask yourself, what's stressing me out right now? What's flooding my mind? And you will probably be able to fill a whole page. Right. And I find that can be really helpful, right? Just to give yourself that open space to like pour and process. Um, And again, some days it's super long. Other days it's just like one sentence, something that's on my mind. And then finally, what am I affirming? So affirmations, things that maybe are beliefs that I want to step into as a business owner or as a woman, but I don't feel like I've quite gotten yet, right? And so those are in present tense, um, things that you you wanna be affirming. And so one thing that I am consistently affirming for me is like a certain income goal, right? I consistently hit this income goal month, right? Uh, Or maybe for you, it's um, in your personal life. And so for me, I always love affirming, like I have, what is it? I have plenty of time in the day to do everything that needs to be done, right? To take care of my body, my business, my babies. And then I start listing all the things I have plenty of time for, right? And so that last section is so important because I feel like I'm ending my little morning typing session. Um, with really affirming what I know to be true for me. And a lot of times I'll just repeat those, (laughs) right? Repetition is so key. And so I'll just repeat, repeat those affirmations. Sometimes add in new ones. And then often I'll add in prayers there too, of just things I feel like I want to surrender. Um, And I actually do this on a Google Doc. (laughs) I sit down, I type, I do it on a Google Doc um, is the place that I do it. And so those are my five questions, but I would love to hear from you. What are things that you want to check in with yourself every day on that feel appropriate for you? Maybe it's the same things, maybe it's different. Um, And then once you have that and you have that pattern established for yourself, I also want you to ask yourself, how can I get my clients to check in more with themselves? (laughs) Because I promise if you do this, you're going to find that all the strategy, all the practical things that you're teaching them are going to happen so much quicker and faster, right? So I wanted to share with you three examples of ways that I personally do this as a coach, and you may be able to integrate this um, into um, your business too. And again, give yourself grace that this is like an ever evolving check-in, but just for what comes to mind for how you want to be checking in with yourself right now, maybe for the next week, right? Saying, okay, for the next week, I want to check in on these five things. And again, remembering (laughs) that this doesn't mean I'm actually checking in every day, but I try to. And so I really end up probably 80% of the time doing these check-ins. So those are the five things that I check in on every morning. I wish I could screen share with you guys so that I could show, but literally what I do practically, I, I love a good paper journal, but I'm going to be honest with you. I'm always like switching paper journals. And so what I've done for this for a while now is I just have a running Google doc, <laughs> like just a running Google doc on my computer that I have bookmarked. Um, what do I even call it? just like wins and affirmations or something like that. And I use that Google doc to be able to do it for a month. And then I create a new Google doc for the next month. And I find that's really helpful, especially if you use um, the outline view in Google docs. Have you guys done that yet? It's pretty amazing. And so you can actually on the left-hand column, it just shows you all the dates right there. 
Okay, so I want to share with you three ways that I not just check in with myself, but encourage my clients to check in, right? Um, and so one of the ways that I do this is on my group calls. If you've ever been on my in one of my group coaching programs, you know this about me. We started with gratitudes, right? You, you may know that I do this, but you may not know why. And I want to tell you a little bit why. Because I feel like you are going to come in with the best mindset and be able to get the most out of a session when you take a minute to take a deep breath. I don't know about you, but sometimes I get to a group coaching call, not as a coach, but like as a client and my kids are screaming or like things are good. Like, you know, when we hold the space for our clients as a coach, especially a group, we just need to be so mindful that people are coming from all different places, right? They may have had an argument with their partner, right? They may have gotten some bad news from a client, right? Like we just don't know, right? Even think about like in-person experiences you run, right? Just so mindful. It's so good to be mindful of where people are coming from. And I find one of the best ways to help people focus and center without a lot of pressure is just going around and doing gratitudes, right? And you're going to find that your client, and you're welcome to copy this, like do this exact thing. Obviously, I'm not the first person who started a group coaching called gratitudes, right? But I find it really helps people take a minute to get centered, right? And to really ask themselves, what am I grateful for, <laughs> right? Like just refocusing your mindset and having that positive approach, right? I am all for talking about problems. <laughs> I, in fact, like that's what most of the coaching session is about. What's not working, right? Really fixing strategies and shifting things. But I find that it's easier to come at it when we're coming at that heart of gratitude, right? So at the start of my group coaching calls, I have my members do gratitude. For my mastermind clients, I have them do a little bit a more expanded version of that. And I have them do what I call a journaling check-in. And so I literally on Zoom, <laughs> right, give them a minute or more, sometimes three, to like pause, journal, and check in on what they need, right? Because so often, you know, we don't even have that time in our day, right? Maybe you haven't established a practice daily of checking in with yourself. Um, and sometimes things just get crazy. And so I like to actually allow on the calls for that time to check in <laughs> and say, what's going on? How am I doing? What's coming up for me? What do I most need right now in this moment, right? So it's almost like what I do every morning, but I'm allowing them to do it on the Zoom call. Um, and I think so often like we go one or the other as like a coach and business owner, like leading our clients through change, we do one or the other where we are, you know, really focusing on the strategies, but not giving space for like, you know, realizing that like we're working with a real human that needs mindset work too, or we do the opposite and we spend so much time on the mindset work, but don't give space to the, like actually helping with practical strategies. And so I feel like this is a great way to do both, right? Really giving someone space, you know, so that when someone's in a group call, they don't feel like, wait, what? Do, I don't even know what question I have, right? Giving them space to reflect and check in and ask that, um, I think has been really, really helpful. With my one-on-one -on -one clients, I have them complete a pre-survey, <laughs> right? So it's not mandatory, but I encourage my clients to complete a pre-survey where I'm asking them some of these same questions, right? What are you celebrating? Where are you feeling stuck? What's coming up for you? Anything else you'd like me to know? That's kind of like the pour it out section, um, but really giving them that safe space to process. And for some of my one-on-one -on -one clients too, I actually set up a little recurring reminder in base camp with their daily questions, especially if they're getting into that habit for the first time, right? Any Anytime we get into a habit for the first time, we kind of need to like micromanage ourselves a little bit, right? Like my clients that are getting used to connecting online, um, you know, one-on-one -on -one and like DMing people and showing up on Facebook Live, like sometimes we actually like need a practical checklist, right? To say like, did I do this today? Did I connect online today? Um, and so I find if someone is needing this practice, I allow for that space in base camp where every day it's asking them what's stressing you out? What are you affirming? What are you grateful for? Right. And being able to check in like that. Okay. So those are just some practical ways that I encourage my clients to do this. Um, and I really feel like um, it makes a big difference on the business side. What I find is that when I give myself the space every morning to process and vent and journal, then during the day, I'm so much more grounded. I'm so much more patient as a mama. I'm so much more savvy as a businesswoman when it comes to making money, making decisions, because I've given myself that space to process anything that's building up, right? And I really don't allow it to build up because I'm processing every day. It's kind of like we talked about in the ambiguous loss episode, where when you ignore the grief, when you ignore loss, that's when it... it builds up, right? Instead of giving it space and being able to feel what's coming up for you. So 
I want you to be that savvy businesswoman. I want you to be able to grow in your business quickly. I want you to help your clients grow and um, move through whatever they need to move through so they can make progress in whatever you coach them, whether it's their health or their finances, right? Let's really help our clients get into this pattern of checking in and let's also do it ourselves, right? Let's lead with that. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, to today's episode. And I cannot wait for you to share with me what your questions are. Go to the Facebook group and share with me those five, three to five questions you want to check in with yourself daily. I would love to hear them. Thanks for hanging out today. Please hit that subscribe button so you can make sure to stay updated anytime a new episode drops. And I would love for you to join me in my free Facebook community. It's called The Heart-Centered Entrepreneur. We discuss the podcast episodes. I regularly go live and do free trainings. And you may even meet your newest biz bestie. So you can join at heartcenteredcommunity.com. It's absolutely free. And I cannot wait to see you in there.